Hello, hello, and welcome to a new video. And today I'm going to be showing you a little insight into my brand new project. I really love doing the 100 day project and it has inspired me to work on a 365 day drawing project. So this is where I can play, explore, try new things, layer things up, play around with colour, all the things that I feel like I'm lacking at the moment, I want to develop, practice and progress. Just getting better with these skills and trying to find what my style is, the way I prefer to work and the things I love to create. So this journey is very much self-led. I'm just going to go with the flow, see what's inspiring me at the time. I have started off just with drawing flowers and just seeing where that goes. The idea is to draw every single day for 365 days and hopefully in that time I will have improved as an artist, I'll feel more confident as an artist and importantly I'll have grown a body of work as an artist. So already I'm a week into this project and a few things have been coming up for me. First of all, what do I draw? This has been a big kind of issue or thought that crops up in the back of my mind even as I'm drawing. I wonder, is this boring? Do I really feel inspired by this? What should I be drawing? All these questions keep coming up and sometimes they make me feel stuck. And when that happens, I go back to drawing my mandala orbs. Something that's simple and easy to me. It's meditative. I don't have to think about it. I put down colour on the page and then I doodle around the outside and it's this doodling that is so mindful, um, it's so meditative to me and it's really healing, it always has been. So just this playing with colour, trying new things, um, but this love of doodling. So that's what I want to increase in the 365 day project, just this love of doodling, of playing. Um, I want to explore colour a lot more. I don't feel very confident in, with colour. And again, I think I'm trying to work through issues that I've had at school or at art school where you're told, yes, you should do this and no, you shouldn't do this. I'm trying to unlearn all the things and all the rules that other people have put on me. I love being playful. I love bright colours. I love childlike things. I love to explore. I love to be expressive. So I'm trying to just see where that takes me and trying not to judge myself. But it's interesting so far all the questions and things that have been popping up as I go along. Um, but yeah, very much delving into the world of mixed media, very much delving into layering and patterns and how I can use colour, complementary colours as well, how I combine colours. Um, and also different materials and mediums and how I can push the boundaries of those, how I can push myself with those and be braver as well. Because I sometimes feel like my work is quite tight, um, which I do love to do. I love to draw really detailed things. Um, and this is why I love combining my mandala orbs of this expressive, crazy, um, abstract art in the centre and then these really detailed little time-consuming drawings around the edge um, so yes when in doubt this is my fallback so if I don't know what to draw on a day I will come back to my mandala orbs I'm trying to just get better at drawing trying different things here I'm trying a composition so this was an image that I found online of a bouquet and just trying to loosely draw it I'm not trying to replicate it exactly just trying to kind of loosen up as an artist and get something on the page. Something that's really fun that's come out of this project already is these shadow drawings. So I was sat in a cafe and there was this beautiful little vase of flowers on the table and because of all the spotlights everywhere they were casting this shadow across my work and it gave me the idea to capture that and I just love this abstract imagery that it's given me. You can see here the flowers, so I did draw them um, kind of in more detail, but I also then used it for the head here and I love this, this kind of idea of crazy thought 
that's happening inside of her brain. Um, but yeah, this was all shadow drawing. So and I think one of my favourite pages I've done so far is this. And this was out in the garden, sitting by the wildflowers and again capturing the shadows. So it was in the evening when there was these long shadows drawing across the garden. I'm just capturing, these are poppy seeds, poppy seed heads and poppies. I think there's cornflowers in there as well. Um, yes, hence why I drew the cornflower here. But yeah, I love that. And just then adding in some really crazy fun colours. Again, playing with colour, exploring colour. Um, and, you know, I don't necessarily like all of this. I'm not sure about this section here. I think it's a bit too much. So if I cover this bit up, I really love what's going on here. I think this is so interesting. So already, just over a week into this project, there's so many themes coming up already, just things to explore and delve into and dive into. And I think that's the lesson here that I've learned so far is that you just have to take one step at a time, go for it, and then the ideas start to flow. So the more you do, the more ideas come. I'm also really loving these bright, bold colours, and I think that's something I'm accepting now, that I don't need to do muted, nature-based colourways. I can do bold and expressive and bright and fun, um, because that's the sort of thing that I'm drawn to as well. I love things like that. Like this, there's something so fun about these just bold, expressive, bright colours. I just think they're beautiful. And whether they're perfect or not, they're not. That's not the point. That's not the idea. So I'm very much looking forward to where I'll be at the end of this project as well. But again, it's allowing me to build up this habit, a daily habit of making time to create art. And that's all I really want to do. That's the main goal I want to achieve. Being an artist means you need to be making art. So I'm going to make art every day for a year and see where the journey takes me. So if you'd like to come along for the ride, please uh, subscribe and I'll see you in another video for an update on this very soon. Lots of love. Bye.